My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. My time slot is at 11.30. I also sold a few things on Stock X. Managed to sell a bunch more Supreme stuff from the in store release. Email just came in. Got one. Another one. No. Holy, I'm getting too many W. Okay, way too many. A few GS sizes, a few men's sizes. So the one that I got from my in-store release. Prem is doing their in-store signups today. We'll see if we're able to successfully sign up. Nothing. What's going on? Oh, okay, here we go. I wasn't the only person having issues, but uh, I did manage to get one signed up. That one went through super smooth, no problems at all. My other profiles, not so much. So I did not get a text message for that one registration that managed to go through. During the beginning of the week, it was rumored that the Supreme Motion logo hoodies were going to be the main piece that is dropping this week, but it turns out that's not the case. I don't believe there is a complete product list for this week as of yet. Uh, however, we do know that the Air Force Ones are going to be dropping, but today we are gonna go to Stadium Good so I can pick up my check and drop off this one Yeezy. Couple of Jordan 1 pine greens came in the mail, so let's take a look at them. Oh my god, yes, I am very happy that it comes in a black box. I was getting super sick and tired of those red boxes. It was cool at first, but the black boxes, I just feel like are way better. All right, let's have a look at the quality. Oh my gosh, quality is way better than I expected. The leather is very soft and I expected it to be kind of stiff, almost like the crimson tints, which looked very soft in the pictures, but aren't once you get them in hand. And wearing those personally was not very comfortable. So I'm very happy that the quality on these is quite nice. So the two that came in was a size 6Y and a size 5.5Y. I decided to pass on the Supreme drop today and it seems like that was the wrong move. One thing that I noticed with Supreme is that I'm just never good at Supreme drops. I'm never good at copying from Supreme. I'm never good at judging the prices on Supreme. Sometimes I get lucky here and there. Supreme drops are really not my thing. But anyways, it was explained that these Air Force Ones are going to continually restock as far as how limited those restocks are and how often those restocks are there isn't any confirmation as of yet but what i didn't expect is for these shoes to sell out instantly super duper fast a lot of manual users were having trouble and from what i've been hearing botters were getting declined left right and center and that these were actually much more difficult to get than anticipated and therefore the resale price for these seem to be doing quite well however it is not over yet i do have my bot running for restocks now and nike is rumored to be releasing these on the sneakers app very soon but anyways we do have some boxes to open up so let's get to it i am very very confident that these are gonna go up in price 
in the next few months or maybe even one year from now. That is a little bit of a speculation. However, in the past there has been Jordan 1s that were super GRs and that have sat in shelves. It's like you could literally go to the store and just buy them without any issues whatsoever. And then several months later, they are 100 to $200 over retail. And I don't see why the same would not happen for these. Only thing about this that people don't like is this Jordan logo. I don't regret buying as many as I did. And once they do go up in price and I sell them, then it will be a pretty good payday. Jordan 3 UNC's drop today. However, initially I just passed up on them because me along with a lot of other people thought they were going to be bricks but it looks like the prices are doing quite well but it is currently 4 41 pm and i literally just started running for restocks 15 minutes ago and i just hit two of them um if i hit a couple more that would be dope but if not whatever but the thing about copying from foot site restocks is that there is a very high chance for cancellations that is just from my personal experience so hopefully these come through but we'll just have to see the kith biggie collab is going to be dropping my setup is very very light uh, this is kind of just a practice round for the sakais that are dropping tomorrow if this setup works then i'm going to use the same exact one for the sakai so let's see how it goes So I wasn't able to cop any of the kith releases. However, that's totally fine because the important drop is tomorrow. I know what I did wrong as far as my bot setup and therefore in theory, I know how to prevent the error that I made. I was one step away from the checkout, but I got 429 error, which means my IP got banned. But I think I know how to prevent that for the Sakai setup. So hopefully we get some Sakais tomorrow. Before we get into the live cop, I just want to remind people that Notify, one of the cook groups that I'm in, is restocking on March 20th and the 21st. If you don't have a cook group yet and you're still looking for one, the 20th and the 21st is your chance to get yourself a spot in Notify. On to the video. Privacy totally screwed me over for Slam Jam because I could have gotten three checkouts. But what happened is privacy cards are locked to merchants the first time you use it. So for example, if I buy something from Foot Locker, I can't use that same privacy card for Slam Jam. The thing is, I double checked all of my privacy cards before the drop. They did not have any transaction history on them. That means I should be able to use them for any merchant. But when it tried to check out, it said I used it on East Bay already, which makes no sense because I went back again to my privacy account to check whether or not it was used on East Bay and it wasn't. So yeah, I could have gotten three Sakai's, but unfortunately those were declined except for one of them. It said payment declined, but it actually did go through. I got the email, I got the charge, everything went through. Anyways, Undefeated is about to drop in 20 minutes. However, I have very low expectations for this because every time I run for Undefeated, I get canceled. They are the cancel kings. But according to rumors, they reset the addresses that are banned. So we'll have to see if I'm able to hit. Then we'll have to see if I get canceled.
There goes my cancel. DSM, holy sh! I, what bot? I'm very happy. Nike shoe bot. Yo, that could have been a cookout. But as you guys saw, there were a lot of things that were outside of my control. If I didn't get so unlucky, I probably would have had six confirmed pairs, but instead I only got three confirmed pairs, all of which has shipped already. Anyways, I did sell an item. I sold a Funko Pop. Unfortunately, I had to sell this for a little bit less than the market price because the box is slightly damaged, but the profit margins are still very good. So I'm quite happy about that sale. Anyways, we do have some boxes to open up, so we're gonna get to it. Pine greens, one in a size 10 and the other in a size seven and a half. The size 10 is for a buddy, so I don't have to really worry about selling it for a bad price. Yeezy 380 mist reflectives, one in a size 10 and a half, the other in a size 11. Oh, these don't look too bad in hand. I'm surprised they're selling for as low as they do, being that this does look quite cool. It almost looks like a camo reflective. Never thought I would like these 380s, but I like these 380s. And next up, one of the Sakai's came in already. That is super fast. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, the pictures don't do this justice. This looks really boring in the pictures, but they look nice in hand. There are two laces on this. There's this ribbon type lace, and then on top of it is this string lace. Uh, it's not like, it doesn't feel like a normal shoelace. Um, but yeah, that is a really cool detail. So there are two laces on these. Anyways, tomorrow is the online drop for Supreme North Face. Lately, Supreme has been beating me up. I can't seem to cop from Supreme and tomorrow seems to be quite an important release. So we'll just have to see if we get anything on the next episode. <laughs> 